Hi there Aquarius, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me Anissa from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love general messages as a general reading. So the roles might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for a personal reading with me, okay? So Aquarius, in this reading, it's going to be a you versus them format. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today, your challenges, past, present, future from both parties. And I'm going to clarify them and I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? Aquarius, so there's going to be like a little bit of a direct conversation that I'm seeing here. Um, one person here is a bit avoidant. So one person here kind of like likes their independence very much and they're very stubbornly holding on to that freedom or their 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 independence very much. And there's another person who gets very frustrated with that person's because the other person cannot go through to the other person and i feel there's like a little bit of a direct conversations that is coming and that is something that you don't see coming okay but anyway your overall challenge here you have the six of wands and you also have the seven of pentacles in that proposition i do feel that your one of your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with you waiting on something because you do believe that if if that thing that you waited comes along is going to make you feel victorious or it's going to make you feel good about yourself but it's a six of wands so six of wands sometimes it can be temporary because wands is something that is very temporary and without you realizing it um aquarius the more or the longer you wait for this to manifest you know the said victorious thing that you are waiting for thing to happen the more it actually hit you on your self-esteem okay so if you feel that you've been feeling a bit sluggish if you feel that you've been demotivated if you feel that your self-confidence has gone down it has a lot to do with you waiting on something that you think could actually give you a boost of it now when it comes to this person, Aquarius, you have the Seven of Wands, the Judgment, and also the Three of Cups in a proposition. I do feel that this person now has come to a full final decision. That decision has a lot to do with them wanting to be restructuring something in regards to these connections because this person does feel that what you shared with them is like you are very comfortable for them. You know what I mean? They do like it when they are in close proximities with you or when they're in communications with you, when they're connecting with you, they do like it because it feels very familiar. It feels very um, good. You know, the friendship aspect of the connections feels really, really good. Now, in the past, this person is the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. From your side, you have the Seven of Swords in reverse and then you have the Hierophant. I do feel that you didn't fall for this person right away because I feel that you somehow wanting to keep your emotions outside of you connecting with this person maybe because you have had some trauma or maybe because you couldn't trust this person's whatever that may be but you were kind of like ice skating above your emotions but then those walls those barriers that you were building in the past stumbled down and then i think you then decided to be committed with this person or to want to have something with this person that's the one thing about fixed signs though is like once they start to do something it's very hard for them to get out of that again like so once they fall in love with someone it's going to be pretty hard to not be in love with that person anymore <laughs> because there's that fixed thing from this person's side they have the ace of pentacles and also the king of cups the more that they get to know you especially since you put down your guards, put down your walls, put down your barriers, the more that they're starting to see like, wow, there's actually this potentials that I'm seeing between me and Capricorn. Uh, sorry, Aquarius, you might be dealing with the Capricorn though. But there is a potentials here that I'm seeing with Aquarius. And when we're talking about Ace of Pentacles, it, it's not really emotionally based, but it's more about value based, if that makes sense. There's a difference as a, a love story and there's a difference between a love story and a life story. You can have a love story with anybody, but when it comes to who we choose to have a life story with, usually we would judge them based off their values or their qualities. You know, maybe your education background or the principles that you live with, something like that. And they really, really admire you for those qualities of yours. Now, in the present moment, Aquarius, you have they have the Two of Pentacles and also the Star card from your side. You have the Empress and you also have the Three of Pentacles. So I do feel that in the present moment, you guys are much more inviting the empress isn't actively pursuing something but it's more about 
Now, I know that I'm the queen of all queens. I know that I deserve to be pursued or I deserve to be something. Okay. I think you're starting, you wanting to be creating some space between this person so that this person could do something towards you. And it's working because why? Space creates desire. When you start giving this person space, because I do feel that you guys were fully devoted in the past, right? You're so fully devoted. This person was like, trust you. Now you are taking a step back and you've become the empress. I know I'm the shit. Come to me. Come get me. If you give me something positive, I'm going to multiply it by a hundred and I give you something positive too. But if you give me something negative, then I would multiply it by a hundred and I will give you hell too. You know what I mean? And it works because I do feel that this person right now is being curious. What can I do in order for me to get this empress into my life? The more space that you created between you, yourself, and this person, the more that this person is seeing you as their wish fulfillment. Because the more that they're realizing that the unique selling proportions that um, Aquarius has, I could not find it anywhere else air. So I need to work for this. I need to figure out a way of me doing something so that I could get this. In the future, six of pentacles in upper position and a devil. From your side, you have the knight of pentacles. Uh, from their side, they have the knight of pentacles and they also have the nine of wands. Now, the thing is that the stronger we feel towards another person, the more our inner wounds that haven't healed is going to come up to the surface. And I do feel that you feel strongly for this person, Aquarius. And when, again, when you feel strongly for, for someone, there is a higher chance of you feeling a bit anxious because those wounds that might be caused by your parents or your childhood friends or from your past persons or whoever that may be, it could come up to the surface. So in the future, I do see them still having this unwavering devotions and loyalty towards you. However, they're also a bit guarded or a bit hesitant when you start showing, you know, your fears, your insecurities, because everybody has insecurities in a relationship. When we are allowing ourselves to be vulnerable with another person, we would feel that. We would feel that raw, vulnerable feeling like, I really want to trust you, but I need to know that you're not going to hurt me kind of feeling. It's human, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. And I do feel that in the future, this person is going to be like, well, okay, I don't know what to do with this. We're going to clarify how they're going to react about it though. But anyway, Let's get into your reading and let's clarify them. I'm going to be clarifying the present moment from your side first. Okay, so one of the reasons why you're deciding yourself to create some space with this person has a lot to do with you not really knowing where does this person lies emotionally with you. You might think that this person is emotionally immature or this person is emotionally unavailable towards you. Or there might be some sort of like an emotional manipulation that this person was pulling to you and that creates some sort of like that hazy or confusion feeling that you might feel right now. Let's clarify the three of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Eight of cups. And also the five of wands. And a lot to, a lot of that has also a lot to do because I do think that you tried something in the past, all right? And it resulted to them either emotionally walking away or them being avoiding or the reaction wasn't really what you're expecting. And it kind of like made you feel like, should I do it again or should I not? But if this person were to be given me enough assurance that I could trust them, then maybe I could work on this again. But there is a trauma here that you're still carrying, Aquarius. Maybe from this person or maybe from your past person. Let's see the two of pentacles from their side. <clears throat> you just want something that is authentic these days. Ten of Swords, Page of Wands, and also the Two of Swords. Okay, okay, okay. So they were being the Page of Wands in the past, huh? Okay. Now, there is this realization that the way in which they do things in the past was a bit childish and it brings nothing but hurt on, onto themselves. They're thinking now, what can I do for me to regain Aquarius trust? Should I present myself as page of ones because there's also ego there you know there's also ego there are people who are like that so it's like 
I really want this, but if I look or if I show them how badly I want this, it's gonna make me look embarrassing. Yeah? So I'm not really sure how to go about this. Should I go about this like really, really genuine and authentic to Aquarius? Like, look, I'm vulnerable. I really want you. I see you as my wish fulfillment, Aquarius. Or should I go about in a way of like a page of wands? As if it doesn't matter to me. As if like, I have the world on the tip of my finger and I could just become a player and, you know, look for un any other options. But there is this realization that if they were to be coming to you in the page of wands way, it's only going to hurt them. So I do feel that this person right now is just being confused on like, there's this inner conflict going on within them of what is it that they would like to do or, or what type of persona or how they could bring themselves to you. Now let's see, um, clarify the star card from their side. The chariot, the eight of wands, and also the ten of cups. I do feel that if it hasn't happened already, it's going to happen like really, really soon. The fact that this person is going to come on to you really strongly and communicating with you again directly that they would want to have a collective happiness with you. This is what they want. This is what they want. I don't see, however, the acknowledgement of what they did in the past was wrong, even though they have admitted it to themselves. Okay. But again, Aquarius, this will only happen because for me, you know, regardless of whatever date I'm putting on the title, um, I do feel that tarot could not accurately predict timing, but it could predict accurately causal energy. So in a way that you have to be in a certain type of energy in order for you to be attracting a certain type of energy. So if you're still is very much focused on this person, if you're still, you know, banging on their doors and be like, I want to work on this, I want to work on this, it's not going to happen. It's only going to happen when you're created a space between you and this person and you're just basically focusing on your work. You're just whatever it is that this person is doing doesn't touch you doesn't affect you whatsoever that's when this person is going to do that okay now <clears throat> let's clarify from your side here with the six of pentacles eight of swords the full card and also the knight of swords in upright position Again, you, this isn't someone new. <laughs> this is someone that you've had a history with. Someone that you've taken a giant leap of faith. And what you, what it did for you is that it led you to this. The Eight of Swords. It makes you feel trapped. It makes you feel confused. It makes you feel anxious. It makes you feel vulnerable and yet unsafe at the same time. So there's a conflicting feelings or emotions that I'm sensing from you in the future. And a lot of that has a lot to do with what happened in the past. You need a giant assurance. You need a giant, giant assurance. Like this person needs to be moving mountains in order to gain your trust and respect again. Now let's clarify the devil card from your side in the future. The tower in reverse the Ace of Wands, and also the Ace of Swords. I do feel that in the future, you guys are going to be communicating it bluntly and directly towards this person about what was happening in the past. I think we've mentioned that already in what you don't see come in. Because I do feel that right now, you're still carrying like a lot of bottle up emotions and a lot of bottle up questions, a lot of bottle up conclusion. I wouldn't say assumption, it's conclusion. And I do feel that in the future, you guys are going to be communicating that to that to, to this person. Now, let's clarify from their side. This is interesting. Really interesting. <laughs> clarify the Knight of Pentacles here um, from their side. <coughs> seven of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and also the Seven of Swords. Ah, oh, shit. Why? Uh, clarify the Nine of Wands for me. Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles and also the Six of Cups. 
for some of you, I'm, I'm just going to be taking for some of you, maybe 20% of you, okay? When things went bad between the both of you, this person went off to something else or someone else and it didn't work out the way that they had planned it. Some of them think that you might not know it, but you know it. Like if, if this were to happen to you, if this resonating with you, this 20% portion, you know, you just know because you're intuitively connected here and you don't like to be treated as if like you don't know what's going on. But if that is not the case, Aquarius, it has a lot to do with, again, them not really wanting to admit that they've been waiting on you, that they're hurt too. Because what they've imagined happening ha is like, okay, Aquarius now is feel uh, they seem okay. I would want to repeat the sweet memories or the sweet moments that I've shared with Aquarius. So you actually might also be dealing with someone who likes to avoid conflict because I do know some people who are like that as well. You know, when there's a conflict going on, instead of discussing it together, they would be like, okay, I'm going to leave you alone until you feel better. And then I'm going to come back around as if like nothing happened. And we're going to pretend that everything is okay because they don't like to deal with that difficult conversation. So this might be the case as well. And this is what this person is expecting or what this person is doing. Again, it's either they've been with someone else and they're like, yeah, nah, one Aquarius. I want to repeat what, what's happening between me and Aquarius. Or it's more about like them avoiding the difficult conversations altogether and wanting to come to you as if like nothing happened so that they could avoid that difficult conversations and everything can be all lovey-dovey and sweet again between the both of you. But this isn't something that you want because for you, you want authenticity, you want clarity. And I think you are going to be telling them that. Now, how they're going to be reacting um, and how is it going to be, I don't know. We'll see the next week reading, all right? Now let me pull some advice card for you, Aquarius. Page of Wands, the Three of Swords, and also the Five of Swords in upright position. Something here about you feeling victorious. You know, it wasn't your challenges here, Aquarius. Something you're waiting to happen and you feel that it actually can make you really, really happy. But is it really? Is it really? Because what you have here is you have the Page of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. It's more about a reminder that actually healing from it without wanting to wait for it and everything like that is the real path of victory. Five of Swords is indeed a very, very like um, brittle card, but it does talk about victory as well. Maybe the victory that you're waiting on versus the victory, you know, that is the universe thinks it's good for you is a different thing. It's about switching that page of wands in upright position is about leaving something that is very dear and close to your heart again this could may not be a person maybe it's just an idea that you have in your mind if that were to happen to me i would feel very content i would feel very happy i would feel as if like i'm victorious i've won something but maybe it's about like moving away from that idea and start thinking that you know what the three swords the three swords in this deck of mine is different because it does talks about healing maybe healing and learning something about this is the true victory and not this victory that you've been waiting on to happen and again it's once so once are temporary okay just some food for thoughts all right so i think that is it from already for you here aquarius i hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for and i'll look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading all right bye, -bye guys have a great day i love you